Hi guys, I told you this before that I do a lot of crafting and we use that crafting as a source of income on our homestead. So one of the things I do is crochet and I'm going to start a playlist with this video on different things like crochet, um, a beginner guide to crocheting and show you different patterns for not just um, cotton yarn, so to make washcloths or face cloths, uh, dish cloths or drying cloths, uh, but to make hats, mittens, socks, slippers, scarves, headbands, um, everything that I do on a regular basis with crocheting, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So it's going to take me a bit to do these videos, so bear with me if they're not something that's done on a regular basis. I want to try and do all of these videos over the course of the winter not just right now before Christmas um, but I do use my crocheting as a source of income also with Christmas time I take on extra orders um, to put that money aside for my kids for Christmas uh, because like a lot of families Christmas can be extremely expensive um, I'm not a family that I will go out and pay spend my entire income on Christmas shopping for my children. That's just an absolute no, I do not believe in that, and I'm not going to do that. Um, but for the things they are really wanting, I do like to have that money set aside so then they can use, I can use it towards their Christmas that they're really wanting. Um, so today's video is how to crochet your beginner chain of crocheting and how to crochet a cotton dishcloth. So enjoy. Hi guys, so I want to show you what a crochet dishcloth is. So a crochet dishcloth is this. It's a 20 cast square. So you would start with a, a chain of 20. And you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 rows. And then your what would be your 10th row, you do your border. So on your 10th row, you would be double crocheting and you go all the way around to make your border. Um, these are very affordable to make. The ball of cotton yarn is about $10 a ball and you will get about nine, give or take, um, eight to nine dishcloths out of one ball. And I'm just gonna show you an example of a ball. So at Walmart, I buy this cotton yarn there and it's ten dollars a ball. Um, you can see I have one started. This is a great project for people that are beginning to crochet because it's straight stitching to make these. Um, there is no fancy pattern. It's a straight stitch pattern. Very very easy to make. Very very quick to make. I can make three of these in about two hours. Um, so it's very very quick money quick way to make money um, if you're good at it sell your product um, I use these all the time in my home I use them for washing my dishes I use them in the bathroom for face cloth I have larger ones for dry mats for my dishes I have really large ones that's probably with the size of the cover of this toe I'm using to show you um, for bath mats in my bathroom for when you get in the shower uh, they hold up really really well once they're washed, they will not lose their shape. Um, they are fairly stain resistant, so you're going to get a ton of usage out of these. Also, they are a lot cheaper by making them than buying face cloths and dish cloths. So, I have my yarn right here. I'm using, I'm going to make a loop for our chain to begin our dish cloth. Now, the size of the needle I'm using is a 4.25 millimeter. Or a size six needle. So what I do for my loop is I'll wrap it around two fingers like this and go through. So there's my loop. Now with my my needle, I'm going to go through. Some people call it a hook. I call it a needle. Go through. Tighten that on to my needle. And then I'm gonna hold my yarn 
I'm gonna hold my yarn with these fingers. So I'm gonna go around and we're gonna make our chain. So this is how you start a pattern, especially for the dishcloths. You're gonna wanna start a chain of stitches. So this would be chain one. You're gonna go to 26. So two, three, four, five, six, Twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So now we got our chain to start our dishcloth, twenty-six stitches. And you're gonna do one, you're gonna do nine rows, and then you finish with a double crochet edge. So I'm going to show you what I mean by a row. Now a row isn't just going back across. You're gonna go back across and across again. That's your first row. So I'm gonna show you what that means. So at the end of your stitch, you're going to chain one. And see how I'm holding my stitch? You're going to go into your original chain one. So then you're gonna do the whole chain again. Like so. So, straighten my chain out here. I have my chain. And I'm two stitches from the end. So I want to show you what that's going to be like. So I'm going to stitch, pull it through. And sorry, when I do a stitch, it's called you go through the hoop, you yarn over, you pull it through, and then you yarn over again and pull it through. That's the technical term for it. Um, and then you're going to want to do another chain of one, like that. And then you're going to go all the way across again, and that's the completion of your first, of your first row. Um, and you're going to do nine of those, and on your tenth you'll do your double crochet border. So now you have your nine rows done and it's time to do your border. So I want to turn it this way. You'll see the string from when you started your chain. We're actually going to sew this in to the dishcloth itself so you'll only have one string to, to sew off. So you're going to chain two for a double crochet and then you're going to yarn over Go through, yarn over, go through, and yarn over, and go through. And you're going to do that all the way across, so like this. So that's the second stitch. Now So there's your edge. You'll see it almost looks like one stitch over. I'm going to show you how you do your turn your corner. So turn your corner, turn your work, chain two, and because this is now a wider side, you're going to do two stitches in this hole. And 
me pull some yarn out here. Oh. So you're going to do two in the same hole, and then you're going to go hold this with your other hand, yarn over, go through the hole, yarn over, go through, yarn over, pull through. And now you're going to go into this one right here where my thumb is, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And by doing that, you're tucking your yarn. Sometimes when you're doing it like this, you'll get the loose end that coming through your work. You'll just back it up, pull your stitch out, and then try again. And see how nice this time it went through. So now you're coming to the end and you've got a square dishcloth. You're going to get a yarn needle and you'll need a pair of scissors. You can see that. I have actual professional Singer sewing scissors. These were my grandmother's, so they're pretty special. Um, you're going to need a wide-eyed yarn needle. So I'm going to finish this off. And so to finish it off, what you're going to do is yarn over, pull through, and it's going to make a loop. You're going to take your scissors, pull it all the way through, give it a little tug. Now, I usually flip it over. Um, take your yarn needle. Thread your yarn needle and you're going to sew it in. So what I do is go in a few stitches and because this is cotton it tends to be a little stiff. Go in a few stitches and then you're going to go through a stitch and go in a few stitches like that. And what I do now is I'll take it and push it back so it bunches up. And cut it and pull it out. So now my stitch, my finishing is locked in, it's woven in. So you can't even see where it was. And you're left with a nice squared dishcloth like that.